Hello everyone. Today we have with us Mr. Rahul Talwar, who is the CMO for Max Life Insurance. And uh, I have a few questions for him and we hope to have a very meaningful engagement. So hi Rahul, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you, Ritika. Thank you for having me over and I'm looking forward to the interaction. Same here. Always a pleasure having you. So Rahul, first of all, I really wanted to understand, you know, the, you have come out with two, oh, you know, uh, ads, TVCs back to back for this campaign that you're doing. So what was the insight behind this campaign and how are you like looking at it as a overall campaign? Uh, uh, so, so thanks Adhika, for the question. Good question. Uh, I'll just maybe give, uh, set the context and then maybe share with you the key insights uh, that's, that's helped us uh, build this entire campaign together. Uh, uh, so we've known all this while that life insurance is, is fairly important. And we also understand that, uh, uh, there is good amount of uh, mind share in terms of our consumers wanting to have the right life insurance. Uh, equally, we believe that uh, there needs to be more action uh, from our uh, consumers at large to be able to have the right life insurance. Uh, there's a very famous saying which says that life insurance is bet best bought yesterday. Uh, and, and thanks to the pandemic and to the post-pandemic world that we are all in, I think there is good amount of interest that uh, we see consumers showing in life insurance in general. Uh, so, so, so that's the big context. Uh, Max Life Insurance, Ritika, what we have done uh, over uh, time uh, and as we were building up to this particular campaign, uh, we have tried to ensure that uh, versus looking at life insurance as a burdensome responsibility, uh, we have tried to look at it from the perspective of trying to celebrate uh, the, the breadwinner. Uh, because we've realized that uh, life insurance bought under fearsome mindset versus life insurance bought under this entire liberating mindset. It's a completely different way of, of pitching uh, life insurance as a product. And that's where uh, Max Life Insurance is trying to be a differentiator. Uh, equally, what we have done in the build up to this campaign, uh, Ritika, is that we realized that this entire category is actually anchored on a very important uh, parameter called trust. Uh, because end of the day, we are in a long-term relationship with our customers, which could uh, be anywhere between 10 years to 40 years, depending how early do you buy uh, the right life insurance. And we believe that long-term trust or bharosa is one of the key anchor points uh, that we have used so far on Max Life Insurance. Uh, the big motto, Ritika, uh, that we work with to put all of these things together is this uh, big philosophy of uh, what I call as hashtag ABCDE which is an always on brand uh, for our consumers or customers, uh, distributors who are our partners and our employees, uh, given the kind of uh, scale and presence that Max Life Insurance has. Uh, in, in trying to build up a typical marketing campaign, uh, the core thought uh, that we anchor this on under the philosophy of celebrating the breadwinner uh, is our communication platform called You Are The Difference. Uh, and, and we say that what we do as breadwinners or as family members for our loved ones in our normal life, the same habit needs to be extended when you're looking at evaluating the right life insurance. Uh, what we have also done, uh, knowing that millennials are a big, big uh, segment for this category, uh, over time, while we were always on an influencer-driven strategy for, uh, for the last 24 odd months, uh, we realize that it's right time for Max Life Insurance to step up our energies on the space of uh, celebrities and uh, looking at the kind of stature that Max Life Insurance has uh, across the country. Uh, we went ahead in this partnership with uh, Rohit and Ritika. Uh, why Ritika? Uh, again, because we believe Max Life Insurance is a progressive brand, uh, a brand that tries to uh, propagate this philosophy of mindful living. And in mindful living, uh, the partner uh, with the breadwinner plays an important role. And we believe that the woman of the house, uh, irrespective of being a working woman or a non-working woman, we believe that she plays an important role in the financial planning decision making. And that's why we brought both of them together. Uh, we believe that they are again uh, a real life young family couple, which embodies this entire flavor of mindful living. Uh, Max Life Insurance on the product side, Ritika, uh, uh, talks about protection, uh, which is term insurance, and the larger space of uh, saving plans, which is which comes under the theme of guarantees. So when we try and put all of these pieces together, uh, is where uh, we we got the big insight of uh, trying to build. You are the difference as our platform with Rohit and Ritika forward. 
uh, anchoring them very, very closely in the space of protection where the reason to believe is our ever performing and ever consistent bharose ka number, uh, which is the claims performance that we deliver to. Uh, and, and, and we have been uh, consistently trying to occupy uh, an industry leadership position over there. So, so that's one. Uh, on, on the guarantees or savings platform side, uh, again, you are the difference uh, with uh, Ritika and Rohit came together with the reason to believe, to say that our savings plan would take care of your uh, future goals of their future uh, planning that, that they have for their loved ones uh, as our prospects or young families under the theme of guarantees. And, and all of this came together in these two back-to-back -back ads uh, that you would have seen uh, under this entire flavor of uh, You Are The Difference. Uh, just another point, uh, while we're talking of ads, uh, we know that today a lot of uh, viewers and consumers are now consuming content across multiple screens. So these campaigns are integrated campaigns which cut across all screens. Uh, and we move from the philosophy of being releasing a TV to releasing an AV because we go on mobile, we go on uh, desktops, we go on connected televisions and we go on TV. Uh, so, so to cut a long story short uh, for you, this is what You Are The Difference does with uh, Rohit and Ritika together as the face of the campaign. And we continue to ensure that we celebrate the breadwinner. I think that's a very important aspect of what we do with a flavor of positivity uh, around uh, the space of life insurance. No, so, absolutely. And uh, you've quite answered like two or three of my questions in one go because of course I was going to ask you because Rohit Sharma brings up particular brand value. But why Ritika Sajde for a life insurance brand? But you know, that, that synergy that you spoke about is, yeah, that makes sense. And, and, and also what happens, uh, just another point because you, you spoke about Ritika specifically. I think what happens is that because life insurance is a very real conversation and, and fundamentally it's a conversation which has a lot of gravitas uh, around it. I think what, what happens is that the minute you're able to bring back a real life young family couple uh, to talk about this conversation, uh, you're just able to give that much amount of uh, Philip uh, to, to this entire piece. So I think that's this entire uh, objective of ensuring that we, we bring back the value of, of being real. Uh, that's one. Also, our intention is to ensure that much like our product innovates itself and we are able to bring out propositions which targeted, targets the women uh, who have not been specifically targeted by any other brand in the category so far, by having Ritika and Rohit together, uh, we bring this conversation direct in front of our, our, our women consumers. And I'm very proud to say uh, that this uh, philosophy of being a progressive brand, uh, appreciating the role of the breadwinner, plus the woman of the house is something that Max Life is on and it's a part of our journey in a very strategic way. Right, right. And also, India is a country with a very little internet, uh, sorry, insurance penetration. With internet uh, penetration increasing, people are getting aware, but we are quite not there yet when it comes to insurance. So I'm sure your TG is very, you know, like demographically, it's a large TG. So how are you communicating to that TG in order to create awareness when it comes to insurance or financial planning? Uh, again, great question. Uh, I think fundamentally, uh, three points. First, I think the category at large, uh, with all the players together, uh, supported by the regulator, I think we have collectively taken upon ourselves to ensure that uh, we need to ensure that the penetration of life insurance starts inching ahead. I think with the new chairman uh, at the regulator, uh, that's a very key agenda that uh, that is being driven by by all players collectively. Uh, Max Life Insurance Ritika has been a fairly responsible player when it comes to talking about financial literacy and awareness around financial planning. Um, many of our thought leader platforms uh, that we that we work with. Uh, in an ecosystem, uh, I, I'll name a few. Uh, we run this platform called uh, the India Protection Quotient, uh, which is a, a program that we run in partnership with uh, a credible research partner called Kantar. And what do we do over there? We go and talk uh, talk to 5,000 plus uh, respondents to be able to understand what do they feel about uh, financial protection. And, and we do this every year. In fact, we are running the fifth year edition as we speak. Second, uh, we run another platform on the thought leader side uh, to be able to look at uh, India Retirement Index Study. Uh, what does that do? 
uh, we know india is a young country uh, we know that uh, with thanks to the pandemic and post pandemic uh, there is a feeling that uh, we need to plan for our future a lot earlier versus uh, again leaving it for too late uh, to be able to gauge the sentiment around what are indians feeling around planning for the retirement early uh so coming back to the second point that i made uh is that max life insurance responsibility of being a a brand uh, and a and a player which talks about financial literacies in many ways uh to be able to bring out these insights and to be able to place them in front of our prospects and and key opinion leaders uh to be able to again propagate this across uh, multiple media touch points third most importantly coming very close to the question that you asked specifically i fundamentally believe that uh, the world of customers uh, have a magic mantra which is sitting in the word called customer and uh, if you look at the word called customer uh, there's something called sandwiched between the c as a letter and r as the last letter which carries us to me uh, so what are consumers saying the mantra over here is uh, come and talk to me come and talk to me individually customize personalize Uh, enable me on the do-it-yourself journeys to be able to ensure that you offer me flexibility. And like you rightly said, India being a fairly large-scale uh, country and the kind of uh, customers that we work with, I think we need to be able to cater to multiple choices uh, of our uh, target audience and of our customers. In terms of reaching out to them, like I mentioned in my earlier uh, response, uh, we understand that today our consumers, much like you and me, and many like you and many like me, consume content across multiple screens, and we need to be able to offer an omni-channel experience as Max Life Insurance to to our customers. So we would have a central content repository, Rithika, which in turn gets adapted to various screens or various media touch points that we have. So we would have a television commercial for traditional TV as we know it. we would customize the same for connected tv because we realize that a lot of uh, consumption is happening through connected tv we would equally customize the same content for our ott platforms which may get consumed largely around mobile and there is an always on a digital push that happens on our content uh, to be able to build uh, this entire play across the funnel top of the funnel mid funnel and bottom of the funnel uh, the intention of all of this is to ensure that from trying to talk about why life insurance we are able to transition to a space called what life insurance yeah. because i think the minute we understand or help our consumers or customers understand what life insurance we know that we are moving around down the right path yeah yeah absolutely also uh... digressing a little bit from uh, you know what we're talking about but uh, you know consumer experience is at the core for any brand and uh, uh, especially in a category like insurance insurance is a category where people buy insurance but they hope that they don't ha- actually have to use it when when they do they need to be provided a seamless experience a very you know smooth claim claiming process and all of that so how are you leading your communications marketing and your entire you know customer experience in a way that it's seamless i think largely rithika uh, again a quick context point uh, customers today uh, from max life insurance or from life insurance as a category is is seeking two things one uh, a degree of goodwill a goodwill is all about that when i need my money if at all i need my money uh, i i get that experience hassle free and second Uh, they are looking for brands uh, that uh, customers can admire long term admiration uh, max life insurance uh, over time uh, for the 22 years that we've been around i think there is a very seamless dna that runs across everything that we do keeping customer at the core uh, is a value called customer obsession uh, and i think that's uh, very deeply rooted in everything that we uh, that we do Uh, we have uh, an in audit uh, focus on uh, digitization on being able to look at the digital gateway not only for selling our life insurance plans but to be able to also give them an experience uh, post selling or onboarding uh, in terms of having uh, do it yourself uh, journeys uh, it's also about uh, ritika very very important to have uh the word called empathy uh when we are communicating to our customers uh because we realize that we may be a passive category traditionally uh but thanks to the awareness and uh the age 
of our customers in terms of uh, when they're getting onboarded, there is a good degree of empathetic communication uh, that plays a very important role. Uh, also, I think interestingly, uh, what we do in terms of our digital experience uh, whether it's through the onboarding process in terms of uh, having uh, unified payments or having our QR codes for self-servicing, or more importantly, adopting WhatsApp as a communication platform. Because what we realize very clearly is that the day of having a monologue conversations are over. And it's all about having a dialogue and having a dialogue in uh, the preferred platform of our customers. Uh, we, we also have a huge uh, uh, artificial intelligence engine that runs uh, behind uh, at the back end of, of what we do to be able to, again, enhance our, our experience. Uh, there are many uh, industry firsts like voice to text analytics that we, that we would be using. Uh, there are unique offers about buy now, pay later, which is, again, something uh, which are new to this category while we've been consuming such features in categories like travel, in bookings, etc., and, and overall, the idea is that whether we have a prospect top of the funnel or a customer at the bottom of the funnel, digitization and digital runs across this entire uh, uh, omni-channel customer experience. And, uh, and like, we, like I said, to recap, customer obsession sits at the center of all of this. Yes, absolutely. And uh, you talked about, uh, you know, digitization and the whole online part of it. And uh, when we talk about that, there is a whole new TG to explore. The Gen Z is coming on board. They are getting more financially aware. So what are the opportunities looking like when it comes to online insurance, the challenges that you see? I think interestingly, what uh, what's happening, uh, like I said in the beginning of our conversation, that life insurance is best bought yesterday. Yeah, I think with uh, this newer audience of Gen Z and and uh, and overlapping with millennials, uh, that's becoming more and more important for this category. I think it's very important that uh, we are able to have conversations with this audience. Uh, and when you have conversations, you have conversations which end up having a, a kind of a dialogue. That's one. And in in this conversation, the idea very clearly is to be able to. Uh, help them understand what differentiates us uh, to be able to ensure that we are able to partner with them in making the right uh, life insurance choices. Also, interestingly, Ritika, what's happening is that today, with the evolution of information uh, that's available and uh, this entire piece of having informed decision making that sits at the back of our minds and, and, and even for people like you and me, uh, our relevant target audience, whether you look at Gen Z or overlapping with millennials or even the older ones, I think they fairly understand uh, what kind of insurance choices do they need to make. The, the, the question over there for them is going to be that are they able to relate to a, a brand or a brand conversation in trying to make that decision? Hmm. They are also looking for uh, something that, uh, that we are very proud about at Max Life Insurance is a huge degree of flexibility. Uh, because if you look at this, uh, two specific things that will stand out in the post-pandemic uh, world is this larger value of safety and this larger than life value of flexibility. Whether you look at it in the way we are working at work, whether you look at it in the way we are consuming a lot of content, you need to have a lot of control in your hands. And that's what we try and offer to our, our Gen Z uh, consumers. Uh, in terms of our digital and uh, social strategy, it's again, uh, it's about being able to uh, put out content uh, in the language of our audience. It's to be able to put out content that's relatable and that's relevant. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, uh, gone are the days when life insurance could do fearsome conversations. It's about having more liberating and celebratory conversations, even when, by the way, uh, you are talking about pitching a term insurance to a Gen Z, which is the purest form of life insurance. It needs to be done in a far more progressive and a celebratory way. Uh, also, I think, again, uh, with me, my team and my partner ecosystem that we work with uh, across the board on the creative side, media or on the inciting side, the idea is to be able to triangulate a lot of insights uh, which are available to us. Uh, uh, we work uh, very uh, closely with partners like, like Policy Bazaar and other partners that mm -hmm. we have in the ecosystem to understand uh, what does first-hand uh, data telling us. 
and the kind of direct to consumer business that uh, we have Ritika at Max Life Insurance, we are able to keep a pulse on, on these trends. And hence, I believe that uh, whether it's uh, Gen Z more importantly today or the larger part of millennials, uh, Max Life Insurance is able to understand their pulse uh, fairly well. Yeah. Uh, another part of your uh, target audience, I've been talking about this a lot, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, apart from the age demographics and all of that, uh, location wise also, when you're communicating to a tier two or a tier three, uh, you, you know, city or a town. So then you there are consumers that I believe need to be told in a more, you know, a preachy manner as compared to a Gen Z or a millennial who would not like to, you know, hear it that way. So how are you striking a balance when it comes to, you know, speaking to an overall target audience, but also in a sort of way, personalizing communication for a particular segment? Um, I think, uh, I think today's uh, media opportunities that are available to be able to spread content, uh, I think is, is a very important lever that we end up uh, using uh, in, in trying to ensure that what do we talk at large on at an umbrella level and then when we are talking on a one-on-one -on -one basis what do we use and 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 thanks to the balance that we have Ritika, between traditional media choices and more new age sharp digital media choices we are able to strike that balance interestingly uh, like i mentioned earlier the kind of work that we do in a thought leader way uh, with uh, a lot of respondents coming in from tier two tier three under platforms like india protection quotient or india retirement index study what we have realized is that uh, media habits and media consumption habits are fairly universal. Uh, thanks to the penetration of mobile, of internet connectivity, of data mobility, we realize that this entire multiple screen phenomena is, is, is universal even when you look at tier two, tier three. However, what's becoming more important is this entire play of vernacular. Because what we realize very clearly that to be able to cut across the message in, in the right way, not only do we need to have the right choice of media deployment, we also need to be able to customize content in the language of, of the state or the region that we are talking to. And, and Max Life Insurance also tries and, and, and does that balance uh, fairly well. Uh, also, uh, what comes out uh, a little more interestingly, uh, when you look at tier two, tier three, that uh, the choice of uh, celebrity that we have, uh, which is in the form of, again, Rohit, supported by, by Ritika in this partnership uh, of a young family, we've realized that the kind of cut through that we see uh, that, that he has, again, thanks to the stature that he commands in the profession that he's from, I think also allows us to not only relate, not only respondents or consumers from tier two, tier three relate to the message, but also be able to retain that message. So I think that's the power of uh, of this entire integrated marketing uh, execution that we have. Right, right. Uh, also, we are having this conversation in the, at the end of the year. So what have been the key takeaways from this year? What are the learnings and uh, any trends that you're expecting in the life insurance segment in 2023? Uh, uh, again, life insurance is the category that's been here for the longest while and will continue to have. Why? Because uh, it's one of the most important uh, important parts of financial planning. And I think a lot of work that the industry is doing, that Max Life Insurance is doing, is to keep re-emphasizing the importance of life insurance. And like I said, the aim is to transition from why life insurance to what life insurance. Uh, a few trends that I believe which we, uh, would, which would get highlighted as we step into 2023 uh, one, I believe product innovation is going to play a key role uh, and, 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 and could end up being a good differentiator. Uh, I believe uh, online presence and, and being able to offer experiences or offerings which are digitally native uh, would, would again be something that, uh, uh, that would uh, step up more action and more energy uh, from, uh, from the industry and even from the consumer side. Uh, also, there's going to be a bit of uh, flavor and a bit of uh, uh, heightened awareness that will come in from uh, this entire conversation around ESG. Uh, and uh, while there has always been a very passive conversations around uh, either CSR earlier or diversity and inclusion, but I believe that the larger umbrella of ESG is going to start uh, uh, stepping up more uh, action. 
Uh, Max Life Insurance, by the way, in this financial year that we're just concluding, uh, launched a specific uh, product uh, with an ESG fund. Uh, so I think we are already on that journey. But to be able to, again, make this into a competitive differentiator, I think I think you'll see some more action over there. Uh, lastly, uh, but more most importantly, like I said, there is an us to me hidden in the word customer and hence hyper-personalization, uh, uh, more frictionless journeys and to be able to keep this customer experience as much as possible uh, flexible yet relatable and frictionless. I think that's going to be the key mantra for uh, 2023 that, uh, that I foresee uh, as we step into it. Yeah, you spoke a lot about digital. So when it comes to your overall marketing budget, do you see digital numbers going up? Uh, while I'm not uh, authorized to speak about numbers uh, in particular, oh, but in I a sense get... of percentage, if that's okay. yeah, yeah. So, so, so the way we have looked at this, uh, Ritika, very, very clearly is that I used uh, the word integrated marketing campaigns a lot. Mm -hmm. And when I say an integrated marketing campaign on the brand uh, today, you could deploy the same message on digital, uh, or you could deploy, by the way, on television mm -hmm. under a phenomena called connected TV uh, versus traditional TV. So we are going to be fairly balanced in the way we spend uh, monies on digital and non-digital uh, deployments that we do. I think I think that's uh, that's the view that we always take. And like I say, we are completely in tune with what the consumer or customer is wanting us to uh, to seek as trends to be able to say that we are partners with them in this journey versus being an in the face brand. I think I think that's the intention and aspiration that we have. So walking the talk. Absolutely. Anything else that you'd like to add? No, no, I just would, uh, using this platform and to the viewers, uh, I'll just like to wish them a very happy new year and uh, and and also a great start to 2023. Uh, I always say this, uh, there's a big heightened conversation that you'll see effective first Jan, a new year resolution, uh, new habits, old habits to be dropped. So I'm going to request all viewers, if not already insured using a life insurance, please uh, have one resolution for the year that have the right life insurance. And do remember, Max Life Insurance is in, in this journey of being your friend. Thank you. That, that sounds like a plan. I'm wishing you a very happy new year as well. Thank you so much for doing this today. Thank you for your time. It was a great pleasure having you here and interacting with you. Oh, thank you, Ritika. Thanks a lot. And happy new year to you as well. Thank you very much.